You know what? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Hi everyone, my name is Chris and today I'm going to be reviewing the four new vegan ice cream bars from Daya or Daya depending on how you pronounce it. If you are new here, we have been vegan for almost four years now. It's myself, my husband and our five kids. I'm currently pregnant with our sixth and last baby. You can check out our gender reveal here. Here on this channel, we do vegan hauls, we do vegan reviews, we show us traveling with our family. Make sure you like this. Just by hitting that like button, you're letting YouTube know that you appreciate my content and they're more likely to recommend my content to other people. And it also helps me know that this is what you guys like seeing. Flavors are salted caramel, swirl espresso coffee plastic vanilla bean and chocolate fudge crunch i am going to be using my trusty jar of water in between each one to cleanse my palate because that is how professional taste testers do it okay in the description box below i will have details about the calorie count i think all of these are around 220 and below which is pretty exciting so i'm gonna start with the salted caramel swirl because I'm a big fan of caramel. I am someone who has a sweet tooth. Sometimes people do reviews and you don't really know if there's someone who likes sweet stuff anyway. There are three in each box and this is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. And here is my first impression taste test. Mmm. Okay. The outside has a nice sweetness to it, but not too sweet. Salty, but not in a bad way. Mmm. Kind of tastes like taffy, which is really nice. Definitely highly recommend this one. This hits all the notes. No weird aftertaste. The actual ice cream. Mmm. I like it. It's not too sweet, and it has a nice caramelly, soft flavor. And it doesn't have an overwhelming coconut taste, which I really don't like. I like when things are coconut flavored, but generally with vegan stuff, I don't like when you bite into it and it's like coconut. Up next is chocolate fudge crunch. This is how this one looks from the outside. Mm. Kind of reminds me of Heath Bar. I really like the outside. I can't taste the inside yet though. Oh my gosh, the inside, I don't know if y'all can see that, there's like a chocolate, chocolate melting thing happening on the inside. Mmm! You know what? Mm-hmm. Mmm! Mmm! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say it right now. I don't get how they're doing this without it tasting overwhelmingly coconutty. Because that just tastes like good ice cream. No weird aftertaste either. I really like that, and like I said, it really reminds me of Heath Bar. My cameraman's gonna eat the rest of that. Mm-hmm. Is that not good? Mm -hmm. yeah, I like that melty stuff the in the melty middle. Stuff. <laughs> and for the record, I am a chocolate person too, so I know what I'm talking about when it comes to chocolate. And that is good chocolate. That's a good chocolate ice cream bar. This one is espresso coffee. Let me take a little sip of water. Okay. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, yes. Daya! Daya! Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's good. I haven't had a bad one yet. Guys, go out and get this. Oh my gosh. You gotta taste that. I like how coffee-y it tastes. It's so coffee-y. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a good summer. It's gonna be a good summer, y'all. <laughs> And this is the final one, and this will be the end of the review. Y'all need to go out and get this stuff. I can tell you right now, this one is classic vanilla bean. I mean, all the rest were such strong flavors. Mm. You take your hit of water? I didn't take my hit of water. Yo, four out of four, well bang again. Four out of four. <laughs> <laughs> Four out of four will bang again. No, seriously, four out of four, all of them in ten. All of y'all's, all of y'all's is dime. All of them. Like, seriously? Mm-hmm. Listen, I found mine at Sprouts. Go to Sprouts, get these. They are so good. 
None of them taste weird. None of them have an aftertaste. Daya, Daya, you outdid yourself on this one. Wow. Okay, a few housekeeping things. Each of these were pretty expensive. They were $6 each, but that means each one is about $2.50 roughly, and it's a nice variety of flavors. I mean, it really hits a lot of different angles. Vanilla bean, pack that vanilla punch. The espresso coffee was clearly very coffee-y, as my husband said. The chocolate crunch, I had that Heath bar thing at the end, and then the caramel swirl tasted like coffee to me. They are all so distinct sometimes. You, companies say they have different flavors I'm not gonna name names and they all kind of taste the same this is not the case here I highly recommend them go out and get them again my name is Chris thank you so much for watching this guys I hope your summer is going amazing you know you got to make this a part of your summer okay <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this guys and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that coffee one though? <laughs> it's amazing! I thought they only made cheese! <laughs>